Hey, what's going on, folks? Clutch here. Welcome back to Clover Creek. Oh, man, we're having a little bit of a, uh, a slow start to the morning after our big sale, our big uh, demo day yesterday. But things are good. Things are looking really good here. In fact, I had a little bit of an auction we were uh, kind of going through last little bit. I'll show you about that a little bit more about that in a second. But we got to go take a run up to a new house that we kind of purchased up in town. And uh, there's something there that I was kind of interested in. Uh, we're going to re-red up in that house and do some work to it. I'll show you in a sec. We'll go for a drive up there and take a quick look. In fact, there's something there I want to grab. I was just up there. Things are looking pretty good. Um, as far as our farm goes, look at this. Things are looking good. We need to do some plowing. We need to do some planting. But uh, everything is good here. Case dealership is up and operational. Everything is so good right now on Clover Creek. Yes, it is. So let's go up to uh, this rental house. I'll show you what we got going on. We got some work we're going to need to do to that at some point. But for now... We're uh, just cleaning stuff out. So I'm going to get a dump truck up there and do some cleaning. We'll take the truck. I've got something we're going to take a look at. Let's go do this thing, guys. Bitter powder. All right, guys. So we're all set up. I've got, uh, well, we got Mike's truck still, the Chev. I've got our flat deck for, well, you'll know. You know what we're talking about. But there's a little present up there I want to grab as well. I've hired Ger Ger Gertie's out here. Ger 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 Gertie. She is back. Hi, Gertie. Good to see you. Um, I feel a little bit bad for her, so I've kind of taken her under my wing. You know, she gets some lessons from the best driver in Farm Sim. Yeah. Uh, she's got uh, we've got a rental Western Star, and on the back of this, we've got just a drop bin. So we're going to use this for uh, loading up a bunch of garbage and stuff. So this is a house. Uh, it was foreclosed. We are picking this up. There's not, it's in pretty rough shape right now. We're just going to clean it all up. I want to clean it all out and sell it again. It's kind of my whole plan on this. Could be a flip. But uh, Gertie's going to come out. And I'm going to take her under my wing today. She's going to be uh, cleaning this house up. I hope she brought some work gloves because I got a lot of garbage for her to go through. <laughs> All right, Gertie. Let's jump in and get going here. Um, I will take my, uh, I'll take the Chev here and she can follow along behind. But yeah, she's going to have her, her hands full. All right. So new house. It's up in town. Um, it was going for relatively cheap, but I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to need any more equipment up here to clean things out. Uh, the house itself is in okay shape. It's just... We need to destroy the yard. I mean, we got to clean that whole house out, disinfect everything. She's still coming there. She is. Good. Um, yeah, it's not in fantastic shape by any means, but if we can just kind of quickly clean everything out and uh, get everything out of there, maybe knock down a couple of the barns. There's two old barns on it. It used to be like a, a farm farmhouse on the edge of the town. They've subdivided everything that's out there, and uh, it's not. there's no farm included with it anymore. It's just a farm, a house property, basically, and that is about it. So not much left out there we'll see uh, we'll see what we can make of this maybe make a little couple bucks but i thought it was a good deal at the time a couple days worth of work and we can just turn around and flip this place hopefully it seems like the economy is going pretty good out here so lots of houses going and coming up on market and being sold i think this might be a good deal but once again i just need help cleaning stuff out guys just need to clean it all out so there is a vehicle in the shop oh <laughs> we need to have a talk about her driving style that was a little bit close um Let's see if we can get past this. All right, Gertie, let's do this thing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Oh, this is going to be iffy. I don't know if she's going to get by or not. I don't know if she's going to get by. We'll find out. Where is she? Oh, did she wreck? She might have wrecked back there. She might have got too close. Oh, there she comes. There she comes. Oh, no. Let's see what happens. Come on, Gertie. You can do it. She can't do it. No, she's going to stay behind. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so the house itself... We'll see what we can find, but there's something in the garage that I'm really excited about. Uh, I've got a plan for it, guys. We're going to do a little restoration today, but, well, we'll see how this is going to work out. I've got to go pull out, uh, see if we can get cleaned up a little bit out here. My main plan is to pull that truck out for today, and uh, we'll let Gertie take care of everything else. She's going to be doing the heavy lifting. I'm just here for some funds. Just here for the kicks, that's all. Uh, we'll see how she makes do. Like I said, I'm taking her under my wing a little bit. Hopefully she can handle a little bit of extra responsibility here. I, she hasn't been proving herself too much with the, the truck driving lately, that's for sure. <laughs> um, where is this turn off? All right, so we're in town, and here is the main road that kind of cuts all the way back. And so this whole land, this used to be all farmland right in here. They've subdivided everything and put some houses up all the way down. This used to be one just big farmland. Um, and then they put a new house down at the very end, which was the original house for uh, this here neck of the woods. But now it's all been kind of subdivided. Um, the, the actual farm that owns all the land kind of south of here, down that direction, 
is over on the far side now nobody owns this property this is just all single like half acre lots basically down in here anyways right down at the end this is what's left of the farm right here guys um yeah it's it's seen better days so there's two old barns still on the property i've gone through them both already and there's not much to be had as far as salvageable equipment uh yeah it's a definitely a bit iffy let's stop this right here for a second show you around quickly here so old barn on this one absolutely nothing in here this is just stocked high with garbage i mean i just got a bulldozer and knock this thing down there's nothing in there whatsoever worth grabbing um they boarded it up for good reason there's absolutely nothing in there so that's it the house itself guys is not bad like i said the house is, is sal uh, salvageable so we're going to take all the garbage out of here that's the big plan with the bin we'll get her to back in with that bin and then uh clean all this stuff up i mean there's just garbage all over the place in here all needs to be cleaned up in fact like like a pit of garbage over here there's an old pool in the back i wouldn't mind even getting rid of that old pool it looks kind of disgusting i i wouldn't want to swim in that that looks gross and then over on the far side we have another another garage but inside you can see the back there that's really what i was excited about there's an old truck back there it looks to be in okay shape i couldn't get it started but it looks like it's an okay shape. i'll show you guys in a second here i just want to get uh let's get gertrude set up we'll get this trailer set up so we can load that onto it give her a push and we'll get her to drop off that bin all right this looks about as good a spot as any we can drop the bin kind of right in the middle of the, of the driveway here and then start just tossing everything in as much as we can i suppose uh let's see here all right gertie it's good to go perfect all right just drop it in right there that looks great excellent all right we'll leave the bin right here uh we can open this back door on this bin which is nice let's see if i can get this thing opened there we go perfect so we can just toss all the trash right back in here and just clean this whole house up i mean let's see like all these bins here like just get rid of these we don't we don't want this stuff in here right get rid of all this stuff man there's just so much garbage in here oh man guys i'm gonna be here for hours oh wait a minute you know what dirty you're gonna be dealing with this never mind um let's let her clean up let's go take a look at the truck now guys i'm not a total jerk i am paying her don't worry i'm paying her i'm paying her a good wage it's just i want to you know kind of help her out a little bit right um let's go take a look back here now we got a lot of garbage up at the front here uh there's more toolboxes here nothing there's nothing salvageable though like i can't it's all rusted and disgusting let's just toss everything that's in here um yeah there's nothing worth keeping in here as for the ford look at this look at this old ford um it's in rough shape it's the it's not in great shape but i got a guy i've got a guy who wants to take i've sent him pictures already he's got a plan and it's going to coincide with our case dealership guys um you know we got that case dealership of course we're doing so well with that and this truck is going to go right along with that so i'm going to get this thing pushed out i should be able to push this right back out i'm hoping we can just stick it in neutral push it back out and i'll get gertie to give me a hand and see if we can get it up on top of the flat deck over there yeah that's going to be a bit of a push hopefully it, it it can be pushed out we'll see yeah, no luck finding Gertie. Gertie, she's busy. She doesn't want to help me with this. So I'm going to see if I can get it out here. She's got something else going on back in the house there. Let's see if we can just give this thing a shove. Ready? Oh, come on. I put it in neutral. Come on. Push. Push. Come on. There we go. Oh, she's rolling. She's rolling. She's rolling. She's rolling. Nice. Look at this. Slowly. Oh, just watch over those trash bags over here. Oh, there's so much trash back here. I, I made it. I cleared a little bit of a path, but guys, it's... Oh, man. There's so much trash. We need to move some of this trash out of here first, I think. Yeah, I'm going to get stuck for sure. Okay, we got it out. Let's kind of push it off to the side. Nice. All right, there we go. Excellent. Oh, it just bumped into the bin. Oop, that's all right. It needs a lot of body work anyways. <laughs> all right, let me crank the wheel over and uh, we'll get it over back up there. I'm going to have to Austin Powers this back and forth a couple of times to get this thing around, aren't I? Uh, that's going to be fun. All right, we got lined up with the truck. Here we go. Ready? Let's push. Three, two, one one go 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 push 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 get up on the truck get up on that flat deck come on a little bit further a little bit further get up there oh man i think we did we have it get up on the deck nice oh nice perfect wow that thing was a little that was pretty heavy i mean these old trucks are just pure iron it's a good thing i've been hitting the gym that's all i can say about that <laughs> nice all right so gertie's gonna be working away here um this is gonna take us a couple of days guys we're gonna have to clean this all out i'll leave the bin here for now she can take that truck home with her whatever she can handle this i'm gonna leave this project for, in charge she's in charge of the whole project for this i'm not even gonna deal with this anymore i'm gonna let her clean this all up once it's cleaned up i'll come up and take a look at it 
and uh we'll see what we're gonna do with this house maybe sell it back off rent it out i don't know yet we got some options there but not bad like a nice a nice house for sure uh once we get it cleaned out i mean you're probably still looking at you got like a one little bedroom up top in that little spot up top there and then the main floor of course is everything no basement or anything like that here but nice uh, piece of property down at the very end of this dead end cul-de-sac essentially uh, i think that was one of the things i was kind of concerned about is that everyone's gonna be driving down here and there's no real way to turn around you basically have to turn into this driveway if you come down this road you're you're stuck at the end here they should have put a cul-de-sac in here or something anyways uh they've got actually you know what i don't know if this is on their property or not i need to check this if this is part of our property because we should be getting a rental uh rental income from the cell tower that would be something to know about wouldn't it anyways nice piece of property uh, i think it goes on to this side as well i'm not sure how far it does i need to look into the cell tower now <laughs> i didn't even look into this on the auction site anyways it doesn't matter like i said we're probably gonna get rid of it anyways so it is what it is but we've got a new truck i want to go take this over to the shop and drop it off and see what they can do with it work their magic I w i've got a plan for this and yeah uh it's gonna be classic it's gonna look good you guys are gonna want to see this Unfortunately, it's a quick drive over to the auto body shop. That's not really an auto body shop. It's just a buddy that I've, uh, I've kind of got to know here on Clover Creek. He does auto body work. So we're sending the truck over to him. Uh, like, that's the best way of doing business, isn't it? You got to find somebody you know, and uh, you get better deals that way. <laughs> I get T-Rex arms. I don't like reaching for my wallet very often. Uh, anyways, they own the C dealership. It's all the way down here. They all the the, uh, the co-op down at the bar end. We get all our seed from usually in the spring here but there's also uh they also have a uh, an auto body shop just beside it now it's not technically part of it but you can see there's the co-op right ahead of us there right in front over on this side there is a bit of a subdivision but they've got their house on one side and they've got a little bit of a shed here where they do some auto body work look at this look at some of the cars they got here is that an old dodge dart oh man so sweet nice so he said he's going to take care of this truck for us. I sent him the pictures and uh, yeah, we're going to drop this off. I'll see if I can find him and get this thing unloaded. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping for this thing to be looking really sweet, guys. I've got, he's got a plan, he says. He won't show me the designs. I'm just going to trust him on it. So let's get this thing unloaded. All right, truck is unloaded. All right. I ju I'm, I'm just looking at the uh, the engine. We popped the hood inside and took a look. It does have um, a bit of an inline six in it. It's It's kind of weak. It looks like it could use some work as well uh i don't know what he's gonna do with that so we'll see we'll be a couple days here guys i'm not sure exactly how how, uh, how long it's gonna take but it's gonna take a little bit of time for sure <laughs> look at these body panels it looks like swiss cheese what is wrong with this thing oh uh, it's too bad hopefully he can salvage it but we'll have to wait and see you guys anyways let me uh get, go talk to him we'll leave this truck here we'll head back to the farm we got uh, some odds and ends to take care of but uh we'll come back later on and see what this truck looks like shall we all right let's do this thing Oh, just got the phone call, folks. The truck is back already. It's been a little over two weeks since uh, we got rid of the truck over at the, uh, the auto body shop there. He's already done all the work to it. Um, he said he was working on it constantly over the two weeks. It was a lot of work. I'm not going to tell you how much it cost me. Um, anyway, let me grab a cup of coffee. He said he dropped it off already up at the shop here. Let's grab a coffee. Oh, nice. Perfect. Now, all I've told him, I have no idea what this thing looks like. I told him I wanted to use it. It's kind of a demo. I don't know. I want it to be a showcase truck for the shop itself, that case dealership we got. So the case dealership, I wanted it to be sitting out front, looking pretty, but I also wanted it to be kind of functional. I want to be able to use it as kind of a service truck uh, and do some work, maybe go to customers' houses and maybe bring some equipment out to them if they need it. That's kind of my plan with that truck. If we can find a way to use it for them for both, that was what I was hoping for now. I have no idea what he's got planned for me. He says he's it's really budget was not an issue with the amount we're making off of our uh, our crops on this on this map. Um, yeah, out in Clover Creek, we're making so much money off our crops. Soybean, tobacco, everything's looking so good right now. But uh, I told him to go nuts. I told him to go hog wild and show you what we got and see what we got. I'm excited. Let's go take a look. See, there she. Oh, she's right there. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. All right, I'm just gonna park this right here. Oh, yes. Look at this thing. <laughs> um, all right, so the truck itself. Oh, yeah, nice job. So white, uh, white on red, red on white, I guess, technically. Yeah, red on white, or is it white on red? I never know the difference. The old style uh, international, the IH. Oh, man, that looks so good. And in the back, we've got 
the case dealership sticker up on top. Oh, that looks so good. That's going to look fantastic in front of our dealership. Not bad. And then what do we got in the back? What's he got? Oh, we've got some service equipment put in the back already. Look at that. We've got a compressor. We've got a tool bin. We've got a welder back there. Is that a welder? You can put a welder in the back. Sweet. All right. We've got a lot of work we can do with that. That's an awesome service truck, actually. That's, that's great. And then in behind here, we've got a pressure washer. Look at this. Oh, yes. This is so good. This is going to be fantastic. I can use this around. Guys, this is, this is absolutely amazing. Look at this thing. All right. Keys are in it, I suppose. Um, I'm going to take this down to the shop. Let's go for a cruise, shall we? <laughs> yes. Nice. Oh. All right. Everything's... Oh, man. This truck is in amazing condition. How did he do this in a couple weeks? Like, I don't know how the heck he pulled this off, guys, but this thing looks fantastic. So good. And, yeah, we got a service truck now. Now, we had the uh, the Chev. We had an old flatback Chev. It was like a 96 model Chevy. It was doing a good job by this Ford. I don't even know what year this is. Like a 40 mid 40s Ford. This is just going to be a showpiece for that case dealership. Let's head on down to the dealership and take a look. I mean, come on. Just think this thing rolling down the street. How would you not notice this? This is like just a walking billboard for our dealership, guys. This is so good. Um, such a cool looking setup. Look at this. <laughs> I absolutely love this thing. All right. Dealership is straight ahead. We still need to figure out what we're going to do with uh, the other plot of land on this. I'm still tempted to pull this into more of a parking lot up ahead here. But anyways, we'll take about that later on. All right. Last couple turns. Now, we just did get all the cases. We got all our, uh, our equipment sitting up there again. Uh, yeah, everything's looking really good up at the dealership. But we do need to... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'll test out this pressure washer. We've got some stuff we can clean. I think i got those combines still are sitting out there dirty. Let's uh, let's clean some stuff up. Shall we? Yeah, let's do that. Let's see if we can clean some things up here. This is looking so good. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. See, we've got, the, we got the, the bin and the 270 we used the other day. Everything's looking good during that harvest. Perfect. Let's just pull this alongside. We can turn that up. Let's uh, turn on. We turn on the pressure washer. I think we can turn this on. Pressure washer is fired up. Oh, you know what? We got to open up the bin right here as well. There we go. We got our wand and everything inside there. It looks like. Oh man, look at all the tools we got in here. This is cool. All right, let's uh, let's go to work. Oh, nice. Everything is working perfectly on this thing. What a great little system. Man, that is so cool. Clean this all up. Excellent. Nice. All right, that looks good, guys. This is what a, oh, this, I'm so happy with this truck. I gotta give him a call right away here. This is so good. Let me shut this off. Perfect. Anyways, that is doesn't that look cool? Let me know what you guys think of this uh, this new truck and trailer unit. Uh, I am pretty happy with this. This thing. I'm just gonna cruise around town with this thing just to drum up business because everyone's gonna be looking at this thing, isn't it? Ah, uh, that's so good. Anyways, folks, that's going to do it for us today here on Clover Creek. we got our new setup. We've got our dealership all rocking and rolling. Everything's looking good. I'm happy. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, you guys know what to do. Drop that like. Don't forget to subscribe. And, folks, I'll catch you next time from Clover Creek, the new case dealership. This is Clutch. Over and out. Over and out.